Hello, my name is John Williams. I am one of the mathematics subject officers responsible for GCSE Mathematics at WJC EDUCAS. This presentation gives you an overview of the new specification for GCSE Mathematics in England for first teaching from September 2015. EDUCAS is the new brand from WJEC set up to provide reformed GCSE and A-level qualifications in England and other jurisdictions that are able to offer Ofqual regulated qualifications. What's new about GCSE Mathematics? There is a new grading system where pupils will get a grade between 1 and 9. The assessments are linear, all components have to be taken in the same examination series. The November series is now only available to those learners who are 16 on the 31st of August of that year. There is a new domain area, ratio proportion and rates of change. 50% of the assessments will be without a calculator in our new GCSE. The GCSE is bigger than the current GCSE. There will be more assessment time, 4.5 hours, the GCSE may require more teaching time at your centre. It has been recommended by the Department for Education that schools should be giving more teaching time to mathematics for the new GCSE. The new GCSE is double weighted in the new Progress Aid and Attainment Aid measures. The content of the new GCSE has been weighted differently to the current GCSE. The new domain area, ratio proportion and rates of change, is given 25% at foundation tier in the new GCSE, whereas at higher tier it comprises 20%. As you can see from this slide, the proportion of marks given to number and ratio and proportion is 50% of the paper at foundation tier, whereas probability and statistics make up 15% of the assessment. At higher tier, ratio and proportion and number make up 35% and again probability and statistics make up 15%. In each examination series there is a tolerance of 3% for each of these domain areas across the assessment for each tier. The Department for Education has grouped the content for the new GCSE into three categories. It is expected that all students will develop confidence and competence with the content identified by standard type. All students will be assessed on the content identified by the standard and underline type. The more highly attaining students will develop confidence and competence with all of this content. Only the more highly attaining students will be assessed on the content identified by bold type. The highest attaining students will develop confidence and competence with this bold content. Some new content has come into this new GCSE. There are quite a few new topics that will need to be taught. Some of these include Venn diagrams at both foundation and higher tier, solving simultaneous equations in two variables, work on functions, the equation of a circle, and interpreting the gradient at a point on a curve. Also, it will be expected that candidates will know the exact values of sine theta and cos theta and tan theta for certain angles. One of the big changes with this new GCSE compared with the old GCSE is that there are many topics that used to appear on higher tier only that now also appear on the new foundation tier. There are many topics that fit into this category and on this slide there is a list of some of those topics. They include factorising quadratic equations, surface area and volume of spheres, pyramids, cones and solids, and calculating arc lengths, angles and areas of sectors of circles. The mathematical formulae that are given in the current GCSE will no longer be given at the beginning of each examination paper. The candidates are expected to know the following formulae. The quadratic equation formula, the circumference and area of a circle, Pythagoras' theorem and the trigonometric formulae including the sine rule, the cosine rule and the area of a triangle. They must not be given in the assessment. Some formulae, for example the area of a trapezium or the volume of a prism, should be derived or informally understood by candidates. These also cannot be given in the assessment. Some formulae will be given in the examination paper. 
These include the curved surface area of a cone, the surface area of a sphere, the volume of a sphere and the volume of a cone. Some kinematics formulae will also be given. The new grading system that will be used uses the numbers 1 to 9 to identify levels of performance, 9 being the top level and 1 being the bottom level. The tiering system used will be an overlapping tiers model where foundation tier will cover grades 1 to 5 and higher tier will cover grades 4 to 9. At least 20% of the marks will be common questions on both tiers at grades 4 and 5. There are new assessment objectives for the new GCSE. These assessment objectives put more emphasis on problem solving and reasoning. The quality of written communication will now no longer be assessed separately in questions in the examination papers. These will now be incorporated into AO2. AO1, using and applying standard techniques, has not changed very much from its current state. Students should be able to recall accurately facts, terminology and definitions. They should be able to use and interpret notation correctly and they should be able to carry out routine procedures or set tasks requiring multi-step solutions. At foundation tier the weighting for AO1 is 50%, at higher tier the weighting is 40%. AO2 is a new assessment objective that covers reasoning, interpreting and communicating mathematically. This is different to AO2 in the current GCSE. In AO2, students should be able to make deductions, inferences and draw conclusions from mathematical information. This is quite a new aspect for the new GCSE. They should also be able to construct chains of reasoning to achieve a given result, interpret and communicate information accurately, present arguments and proofs, and assess the validity of an argument and critically evaluate a given way of presenting information. At foundation tier the weighting for AO2 is 25% and at higher tier the weighting is 30%. AO3 is about solving problems within mathematics and in other contexts. The weighting given to AO3 is 25% at foundation tier and 30% at higher. There are new aspects to AO3 that are being assessed directly for the first time in this new GCSE. Students should be able to translate problems in mathematical or non-mathematical contexts into a process or a series of mathematical processes. They should also be able to make and use connections between different parts of mathematics and interpret results in the context of the given problem. Some of the new aspects including evaluate methods used and results obtained and also evaluating solutions to identify how they may have been affected by any assumptions made. There are two components in the new WJC EDUCAST GCSE. The first component is a non-calculator mathematics component. It is a written examination which lasts 2 hours and 15 minutes and carries 120 marks. This will make up 50% of the qualification. The second component is calculator allowed mathematics. This is also a written examination lasting 2 hours and 15 minutes and also carries 120 marks. This makes up the other 50% of the qualification. This slide shows many useful websites. It includes the EDUCAST website, the WJC Resources website, and how to access our free online examination review resources website. If you wish to get in touch with either myself or Betsan Jones, the maths officers at WJC, our contact details are given on this slide. Thank you for listening.